In this short video, I'm going to show you how to implement feature that allows user to delete a table rows or table cells. So let's go ahead and create an empty uh, single view application. I will call it uh, my table um, cell delete example. Okay, the project is created. I'll go to main storyboard. I have uh, a view controller which was created uh, for me by default. I um, don't actually need it. I need table view controller for this example. So I will delete this view controller and uh, grab table view controller and drop it on my storyboard. Now, because I've deleted, uh, I've deleted um, table view uh, view controller which was my initial view controller I need to make this um, table view controller um, as uh, initial view controller so I'll select uh, table view controller here and on my right side panel I will find view controller and I'll set it in initial view controller now we get this arrow here this basically tells that this a view controller will uh, application will, will start with this view controller so and I will uh, set the size to uh, iPhone 4 inch I like it this way and it's not necessarily but I will embed it into um, uh, I will embed it into a navigation controller so that we have the status bar I mean uh, the top bar at the top and I'll also resize it so we have navigation bar here because I'm going to put some buttons there. Okay, so we have table view controller and we can start uh, working on it. First of all, we need to create Swift file uh, which uh, will be associated with this table view controller. So I will um, go and create new file, the co uh, touch class, and uh, that will be table view controller. I'll call it my table view controller and Swift next. Okay, so um, the table view controller class created and the first thing that I want to do, I want to associate it with the view I have on my storyboard. So I will uh, select this table view controller here and I will switch to identity inspector and under custom class, I will type my table view controller. Very good. Now I can hide this panel and open assistant editor and the Swift file associated with this uh, user interface will be loaded up here. Okay, so first of all, we need to load um, load data into our table view controller be before we can start editing or deleting it. And I will hard code my uh, my uh, data here, but in your case, it can uh, uh, be loaded from a server side or loaded from um, the local uh, storage. So I will basically create. Uh, an array of string values and I'll call it data holder uh, and that will be an array of string values and I will put anything 1, 2, 3, that's enough. Okay, I have an array of values and I need uh, these values to be displayed in my table view. Well, uh, when we create table view controller, there are certain functions that um, um, Xcode generates for us and those are from data source, for example, number of sections in table view. I will uh, change this value into one. I want for this example one section only. The next function that was generated for us is, is number of rows in this section. So uh, how many rows do we want uh, this table uh, view to display and basically this number should match the uh, number of values I have in my array here one two three and um, I could uh, type I could type three but I want to do uh, it in a better way so I will say date oops not date but data holder I'll say data holder count okay so uh, this uh, no number of rows will be equal to the number of values we have in our uh, data holder okay now if I run this example uh, it should display uh, 
oh no one more time i mean one more thing that we need to do we need to uncom uncomment this next function that was generated and this is um this function allows us to customize each cell uh, for each row so cell for row at index path okay and basically uh, we have a cell which is dequeued from the uh, table view with this identifier now identifier is uh, a custom value that you can create uh, i will you you can create you can name it anything i will call it for example my cell but what's important here is any value that you uh, set here you need to then assign to your custom cell so what i will do i will open the left panel here i will make sure my table view cell is selected here the table view cell and then i will unfold my right side panel and i will go to um uh, to what is this called show attributes inspector and for table view cell identifier i will put this my cell so i will set identifier for my cell which is selected here as my cell and then in my code here cell for road index path i will dequeue this cell so now i can customize um, this cell so i will what i'll do i will set the the label value uh, text label value uh, to the string value i have in my data holder um, text equals data holder and for each row which is index path row okay uh, it's value of optional type right because we need to unwrap it okay so now if i run this example i should see um i should see three cells or three rows and each cell will have one two and three Okay, very good. I have one, two, and three, but they are these cells are not editable. So now um, comes the most important thing. We need to enable this. Um, we need to make this table view editable. And first thing that we need to we can do is um, we um, by default again Xcode generates for us in this view did load. Xcode generates for us a very nice line, line of code and this line of code basically creates an edit button in the top right corner and this is a very convenient button when I tap on this it, it, this is a switch that allows us to set uh, our table view from into editing mode so when I tap on it uh, it uh, turns our table view into editing mode and I get this uh, delete button here it's all uh, implemented already i don't need to code it but it won't work because there are a couple of more functions that we need to implement and when i tap on done button it turns back to edit very convenient i didn't have to write any code so this is first thing that we want to do uh, but uh, of course if you don't need this editing button if you want to load your table view controller i mean if you want to load your table view in editing mode right away you can always implement something like this like my uh, table view set editing and then you say true and you made it for example true as well and then once your table view is loaded it, uh, it will set itself into editing mode right away or you may implement your own custom button where you can set editing conditionally when the button is stopped you set it to true and when you're done editing you can set it back to false and those um, delete buttons for example on the left side of your cells will disappear okay so we have editing button and we can turn our uh, editing on and off okay next that we want to do is to uncomment a couple of functions that uh, go below and the very first that 
uh, and the very first one is table view can edit row at index path and basically um, that tells us that um, if we want the cell to be editable we return true if we don't want certain cell to be editable we return false for this example first I want all cells to be editable so I return true the next function I will um, uncomment is called a commit editing style table view commit editing style and some of a very important code is already implemented for us so see how it is convenient to work with this feature and um, what it says is that if editing style is delete um, we delete rows at index path here and the row will be deleted but we also need to delete the value from our data holder otherwise the row will be deleted but we still have values in our data holder so what I will do just before just before this uh, row is deleted I will say data holder remove at index index path row okay uh, and then um, the functions below have to do with rearranging table view so uh, I won't touch them okay so I'll save and run my example and see how it works I can tap on edit button uh, hit delete and delete the row delete and delete the row and done when I'm done okay uh, next up is uh, sometimes we need um, certain rows to be um, editable and certain rows should not be editable for example um, row with um, uh, this label 3 should not be deleted and other rows can be deleted that's called conditional editing and in Xcode we do have already this function is called table view can edit row at index path and we can modify it a little bit to implement conditional delete this function always return uh, returns true and I want to change that um, and I will do it by declaring a new variable I'll call it return value and it will be a boolean value equals false and I will make my function to return this return value now next I will implement conditional statement um, and I will declare a new variable and I will call it um, value to delete for example I want cell with label 3 to be deletable and I will in implement conditional statement and I'll say if data holder in index path row is equal to value to delete oops, is equal to value to delete then return value should be should be true otherwise it is false value to delete mm -hmm. Oops. sorry for these typos it's difficult to focus when recording is on um, okay so now let's uh, run this example and see how it works okay so I tap on editing and I see that only one row turned into editing mode and the other two one is two one and two are not editable um, I think this is it for this video um, I hope it will work for you um, very well if it doesn't work for some reason please uh, comment below um, this video 
I will post this video and uh, the source code that I typed, even though it's uh, very uh, little here, on my Swift developer blog. Uh, and I hope it helps you guys.